Shopping in Paris is amazing, but we're not going luxury shopping. My friend Erin is here from the US, my friend Elisa is here from Australia, and we're going thrift shopping. We are gonna go look for treasures and see what kind of amazing things we can find in, in the thrift stores of Paris. Allez, on y va. We started out at the Hippie Market. This is a quiet, well-organized shop with a big selection of shirts and jeans and jackets. They had lots of berets and hats, and we had fun playing with them. <laughs> I don't know that I would be comfortable buying lingerie in a thrift store, but it was fun to see what they had to offer. They had a bunch of striped shirts and a surprising amount of cowboy boots and other shoes. And downstairs was a whole selection of men's clothes and accessories for all sizes, seasons, and styles. And in the end, I bought this awesome striped hat for Antoine so he'll match my shirt when we're out and about in Paris. Our next stop is Vintage by Ramen. Vintage is another code word for thrift, and in this store, just about everything is five euros. There's a lot of stuff and it's crammed in pretty tight, but there are definitely treasures to be found. We made our way down the long hallway leading back to the dressing room and found even more merchandise. Everything from bright orange jumpsuits to jeans and jackets and classic dress shirts and a surprising amount of American stuff, like this tie-dye t-shirt from NASA. Erin found a great teal jacket for her daughter. And Elisa found a long, stylish sweater to match some items she already had at home. This was a great stop. Next, we were really looking forward to visiting the Kilo shop where items are priced by weight, but it was temporarily closed for renovation, and we'll check it out another time. But luckily, there are many Kilo-type thrift stores, like the In Love With shop right next door. Elisa is a big butterfly fan, so the window design was a good omen. This store is well organized and felt more like a boutique than the last one, and their staff is super friendly and helpful. The concept in the Kilo style fripperies is that you gather up the things you want to buy and weigh them to get the price. In this store, you do that by color. Red tags are 20 euros per kilo, greens are 30, blue is 40, orange is 50, and if the tag is white, the price is as marked. Like other stores, they had a lot of different kinds of merchandise, and while they had some stuff for men, this place is really for the ladies. It was laid out in easy to follow sections with winter coats and vests and hats, sections for t-shirts and jeans, even a section with polka dot shirts and scarves. I could trade in stripes for spots. But what really got us excited was the section with fancy date night dresses. Elisa found a stunning green one she couldn't pass up. Not only did we find some real gems in here, we had a lot of fun. I'll definitely be back. But now it's time for lunch. We stopped in a restaurant just up the street from the Hotel de Ville called Le Drapeau. It doesn't have really great ratings on Google, but their quiche du jour may have been the best I've ever tasted, and the Chev Chaud salad was just right. I'm glad to give them another shot. Just steps from the restaurant is the Freep store. In fact, there are three Freep stores all together right here. They have some funkadelic stuff in here, like the leather studded bag with skulls. And again, they have a big variety of all kinds of things, but the artwork and displays really got our attention, like the big shoe display above the door. And they have a small room in the back with items for just one euro each. But this place felt like it was for a much younger crowd than us. 
so I picked up a small handbag for my daughter Liz. Our last stop of the day is the luxury outlet right next door. I had heard this was a great spot, but from the first impression, it looked like a bunch of new stuff in a discount outlet. When we went in a little deeper, we found that the thrift section was downstairs, and that part lived up to our expectations. Heading down the stairs, we found some of the warmest Irish wool sweaters with amazing soft texture. We found a huge selection of high quality Italian leather bags. There were sections for men's and ladies' clothes organized by size and type, which is kind of a big deal in a thrift shop. Aaron got an amazing leather backpack. I picked up a red striped Lacoste sweater. Yeah. And Elisa scored a super comfy pair of adorable jeans. The luxury outlet and the In Love With store are definitely our favorites today, but we had a lot of fun discovering all the hidden gems that the Paris thrift stores have to offer. If you're in Paris and want to shop for great fashion on a budget, it's definitely possible. While Le Marais is the hot spot for thrift shopping, even the famous Gallery Lafayette store has dedicated half of a floor to gently used items in their restore. It's definitely worth a visit if you're in the area.